so we seen that rocks have been grouped according to three types that is your igneous rock your sedimentary rocks and your metamorphic rocks the examples of these three types of rocks its properties and uses moving on to the next most important is your rock cycle so even if you take a human being for example we have a life cycle that is from a baby a newborn baby then it moves on a toddler and then a teenager adolescent an old elderly person and old age so it forms a cycle so likewise we see that the rocks also have a cycle that is called as the rock cycle so rocks we know are being formed and it is also due to the natural calamities that enable the formation of rocks so the formation of rocks is circular in nature and changes continually from one type to another this changing of rock types is called the rock cycle so we see that the formation of rocks is circular in nature and changes continually from one type to another this changing of rock types is called the rock cycle so we have a diagram that tells us or depicts the rock cycle so we see we have the metamorphic rocks and on melting the magma then again melting and cooling it becomes the igneous rock then weathering and erosion it becomes a sediment and then the deposition and layering we have again weathering and erosion the sedimentary rocks and due to heat and pressure the igneous rock and the sedimentary rocks become metamorphic rocks so this is the rock cycle so we have sedimentary rock heat and pressure metamorphic rock melting magma melting cooling igneous rock then we have weathering and erosion sediment again deposition and layering weathering and erosion heat and pressure so this is the rock cycle so the sediments the rocks breaks down then it forms igneous rock sedimentary rocks and then it becomes metamorphic rock so this is the rock cycle so we see that the formation of rocks is circular in nature and changes continually from one type to another this changing of rock types is called the rock cycle so the end we see that the igneous rock and the sedimentary rock due to heat and pressure they get transformed into metamorphic rock the magma that is present under the earth's crust due to volcanic eruptions they come out and they spread out on the surface of the earth as lava and then when it cools and hardens it becomes igneous rock and the water flowing or the wind they break down the rocks into small pieces and they get carried away and deposited on the surface of the earth and as it forms it becomes layers and it finally forms the sedimentary rocks 
so this is a type of cycle and hence it is referred to as the rock cycle